Every year, Chaminade University runs its popular program, Summer Institutes. Students and professionals of many fields improve their craft by immersing themselves in a dynamic, hands-on learning experience. The Detection and Recovery of Human Remains Workshop teaches search and recognition techniques for crime scenes and clandestine graves. The Underwater Investigation Workshop teaches the scientific protocol and practices applied to underwater crime scenes. University professors Ronald Becker and Dr. Lee Goff are not only experts in their respective fields, but also respected authors. Students in the Detection and Recovery of Human Remains workshop are assigned a crime scene where they must detect, recover, and interpret bio-environmental evidence. Right now, they're on. All four of them are looking for different types of evidence that may be present at the crime scene. They are flagging it so we can go back and review it later. We found a mandible. I had the jaw. Oh, you got another one back. Looking for the rest of the skull. Not sure what type of crime scene this would be. Students in the Underwater Investigation Workshop rehearse search techniques on land before applying them underwater. Their goal is to locate and recover submerged evidence. Every once in a while, it helps to maintain your orientation in the water because you can't see. So this is the only reference you have to the world. I am searching right now. You go slowly keep the palms on the ground with the arms as much of your body as possible to the ground so you can feel anything. Workshop participants come from all backgrounds, including undergraduate and graduate students, professors, firefighters, and law enforcement personnel. Members of the Honolulu SWAT team practice on land how to recover a body under murky water. I really enjoy the class. It's very focused, very uh, mission-oriented. A lot of insight from experience. It's just not academic. Because as policemen, anything that we collect or, or discover, we always prepare to go to court. In addition to recovering crime scene evidence, Dr. Goff's students in the Recovery of Human Remains workshop also learn to analyze post-mortem changes during decomposition. Here, students analyze three decomposing pigs in three different scenarios, on the ground, hanging, and in a bag. I remember yesterday, we could see maggots there, but there weren't that many of them. Now, they're starting to boil out. Internally, this is becoming rather warm. That's probably, it's gonna be well over 100 degrees. I'm a lieutenant in the United States Navy with a medical entomology specialty. And with that, I do a lot of disease prevention and public health work. With forensic sciences, I thought it would maybe integrate into some of the disaster response missions that we go on to and the fact that, you know, there's always a chance we may encounter uh, dead bodies. And just to have the awareness of, of what to do and, and how to handle that, um, I thought this would play a good role in, in some of my development as a medical entomologist for the Navy. Once participants learn underwater investigation theories in the classroom, they are ready to test their skills in the Pearl Harbor Richardson Navy Training Pool, assisted by Lieutenant Glenn Dixon, Texas Department of Public Safety Dive Team Commander. You're gonna black out your mask, you go to the deep end, jump in, get ready to go, we'll take you down to the bottom, we'll put you on a rope. Just go straight out, I'll get you. Hi, so my name is Dr. Myron Gilbert. I am a professor of criminal justice I travel from Georgia to Honolulu, Hawaii to this university for this top-notch training in underwater crime scene investigations. This is probably one of the best programs in the world that deals with this type of subject and this type of training. Students in the Detection and Recovery of Human Remains workshop are learning the proper excavation techniques of clandestine graves. Once the evidence is collected, students will diagram photograph, and analyze all materials recovered. I've taught courses like this all over the United States, from Pennsylvania, Tennessee, into Tucson, Arizona. And um, I've been, this is my first year teaching here with Dr. Goff, and I've uh, been thoroughly impressed with the level of, of treatment that the students are, are given, and also the uh, students themselves. They've really shown a maturity that, uh, that's 
not seen in most other places. The final test for the underwater investigation workshop is to apply all their skills on the ocean water, where loose sediments bring visibility to almost zero. Right now we're going to go in and uh, test our skills based on what we've learned in class and we're going to search for a missing gun. Okay, my job is to document the person's name, who is a diver, and document the actual maximum depth that they go in and the time under. It's real harder to see when the settlement, the sand kicks up, so the dive stuff that we did in the pool yesterday with the blacking your mask out definitely helps. and. It's really fun. I really enjoy it. I think it's absolutely fascinating. It shows a very unusual way of collecting evidence. Water is typically thought to be a medium where you can't collect evidence from. And this class has actually taught me that you can still get fingerprints from weapons that have been submerged. And it's absolutely fascinating. There's actually more research that needs to be done. So to actually see how they collect this evidence is actually probably gonna help me in my future. People take this course for a variety of reasons, primarily because they get to do something that's not available at any other university in the United States. We teach them techniques that we've developed independently and uniquely here in Honolulu at Chaminade University. If you had to go someplace to learn how to process a crime scene underwater, what better venue could you possibly have at Ala Moana Beach Park in lovely downtown Honolulu, Hawaii? Chaminade University Summer Institutes offer innovative and professional programs not available in regular graduate or professional education. Check out our website for future workshops. Contact us today.